Assalamu alaikum and hi. I'm going to show you now on how to do example number two. Results from water analysis is as shown below. Calcium 29 milligram per liter, magnesium 16.3 milligram per liter, not 16.4. Okay, please change it in your book. Sodium 23 milligram per liter, potassium 17.5 milligram per liter, bicarbonate 171.4 milligram per liter, not 171 milligram per liter. So please take note of that. Sulfate 36 milligram per liter and chloride 24 milligram per liter. So question part one is convert these concentration from milligram per liter to milliequivalent per liter. Okay, so this concentration of the parameters are all in milligram per liter. So you need to change it into milliequivalent per liter. The way that I would tackle this question is by drawing a table. And then I would put um, the first column as cation. And then the concentration in milligram per liter. I label it the, the second column. The third column as, uh, I label it as equivalent mass. And the fourth column is milliequivalent per liter. So you should write down everything. So calcium is Ca2+, magnesium is Mg2+, sodium is Na+, and potassium is K+. The concentration is just copied from there. 29, 16.3, 23, and 17.5. So the equivalent mass, this is, uh, the, uh, this is um, the interesting part. So I think we have already calculated the equivalent mass for calcium and it was 20. The equivalent mass for magnesium, what you need to do, you have to find out what is the uh, atomic mass for magnesium. So it's over here, 24.31. So the atomic mass is 24.31 divided by we have to look at the absolute charge of magnesium, which is 2. So divided by 2 and that value. So I need to use calculator this time around. 24.31 divided by 2 equal to 12.155. 12.155. Okay. As for, as for potassium, the equivalent mass... So we have to check into the periodic table and we can see the atomic mass for sodium is 29, I'm sorry, 22.99. So I would like to round it up to be 23 because, you know, 22.99 is more or less equal to 20, 23 divided by the absolute charge, which is 1. Therefore, that is 23. And the last one is potassium. Again, you have to refer to the periodic table and potassium the atomic mass is 39.1 and that is 39.1 divided by the absolute charge is also 1 and that is equivalent to 39.1 right for the last part we have to calculate or we have to yeah to calculate the milliequivalent per liter value for all this cation so I like to show one example. Yeah, in order to get milliequivalent per liter concentration, whatever concentration in milligram per liter has got to be divided by the equivalent mass. Okay, so we divide 29 with 20. So 29 divided by 20 is equal to 29 divided by 20 is equal to 1.45. So I'm sure that all of you are able to finish off the simple calculation. Thank you from Muzaffar Zainal Abidin.